While it's not really a time to take a victory lap at the box office with only three, 1K movie theaters open out of US and Canada's 5, 8K, 5 out of the 8 Oscar-nominated Best Pictures this past weekend in theatrical release reaped the halo effect of Monday's noms. Keep in mind many art houses, especially in the awards hubs of New York and Los Angeles, are operating at 25% capacity. That curbs and really hurts grosses for art house titles as they're typically given fewer showtimes and depend on full auditoriums, especially at prime times such as 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. for older crowds. Landmark on Pico is still not opened, but the art house chain reopened their new art site on Friday with Sony Pictures Classics The Father and A20 Fosmanari. Nonetheless, the reopening of both cities' art houses couldn't come at a better time as they can capitalize on Oscar contenders, especially given the ceremony's late date of April 25. The five Oscar-nominated picks in theatrical release, The Father, Minari, Warner Brothers, Judas and the Black Messiah, Searchlight's Nomadland, and Focus features promising young women were able to see jumps in their theater counts, thanks to the reopening of LA, which was the no. One market this past weekend with $1 million plus grossed so far, which resulted in upticks in their BO True, we're not seeing anything crossover, because we don't have the exhibition bandwidth stateside to do so, but specialty distributors will take what they can get. Searchlight refuses to report grosses for its six-time Oscar-nominated Nomadland which made history on Monday with a directing nom for Chloe Zhao becoming the first woman of color to land one. Searchlight believes that it's impossible for the industry to interpret the picks be especially given the fact that the movie is available for free to Hulu subscribers. My take? I think the Disney specialty distributor doesn't want to paint its Oscar contender with any headlines of poor box office performance. However, everyone knows that the box office overall isn't faring well, and that the numbers which all these Oscar contenders are posting are as good as it gets. Really, Searchlight, stop being embarrassed and start reporting your box office as you join the guilty ranks of such streamers who aren't reporting figures, I. E. Amazon, which has the Sound of Metal nominated for Best Picture for an overall six Oscar noms, and Netflix which has Mank, 10 noms including Best Picture, and The Trial of the Chicago 7, 6 noms including Best Pick. Why do I raise such a fuss here? Because, Searchlight, according to industry estimates, Nomadland saw the biggest gains out of any Best Picture Oscar contender, plus 157% over last weekend with an estimated $302, 5K at 1.050 theaters, plus 650, in its seventh weekend for a total cum that's approaching $2 million. Though minuscule by pre-pandemic standards, it's something to tout during Oscar season, especially when compared with your fellow competition here, 